How's it going, Eduardo? How are you, how are you doing? Doing okay. <laughs> Not <laughs> really. Uh, things all getting polished. Uh, so a couple of things to do, like the documentation is almost ready. Uh, the view, the dev tools support, I have to find a way to add it without increasing the bundle size, which is weird because I have a few bugs left over and mm -hmm. And just waiting for people to try it out and see um, um, what bugs they found and any, what things I, I can fix. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exciting. Yeah, um, the team has really been putting a lot of work into this. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, a lot of work <laughs> by so many people. Yeah. We don't realize sometimes, yeah. Okay. Um, so if nobody has any technical questions <laughs> um have you picked up any new hobbies or skills during the pandemic no, no. I, I, I tried to uh learn again portuguese and stuff oh, nice. i tried to learn chinese but it was way too much too much too complicated especially after going back to portuguese where you really get the as a spanish speaker you get to speak Portuguese very quickly, and yeah. Chinese is far from that. So it's very uh, uh, not a, it was for me to keep doing. Tried reading more, but not even. <laughs> you didn't get. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't uh, get weight. Gain weight. Yeah, at least. I mean. I'm, you I did. didn't. I didn't. I was the same. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. So we have one question. Uh, so the the question should I, should we read read them or? Um, oh yeah. So uh, will the new router be able to support any order for routes in multiple dynamic slugs? Shouldn't be able to. Uh, so the idea is uh, there is this thing. Uh, so I share the URL in the in the chat. Uh, you can paste your routes, and uh, if it works, okay on the right, and knowing that there are very very few few cases um that you cannot correctly run rank the routes especially if you give custom regex uh, the router cannot know what regex is more more powerful than other or more specific but if you have multiple uh slugs yeah that that works that's the basic case i would say uh so if you have one with uh if you have routes that have three in dynamic the other two are, are static um and another one has a um, a section that is static and the like instead of being dynamic it will be ranked before like the order of the sections also matter possible to test it will possible or be possible to test the router regex in the details um you don't really um, in a way, yeah, indirectly, you test, you can write basically on the routes. Um, that's how I, 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 I did it. It was a quick prototype. I mean, it's not really a prototype, it's production ready. Yeah. But um, it was just an idea. Uh, so you can filter the routes that you have, and you can filter them just by writing the any URL that will match them. Uh, and it's a bit in close, you'll match routes that are more or less complete so matching by the beginning and stuff like that um otherwise using the link that i just shared uh, that i'm i mean maybe i should copy it again just in case but uh this url you can um test urls too it's basically like uh the I, at the beginning i wanted to do that but then guillaume introduced a version of, of the dev tool where you can add your own thing to the dev tool so i done for that it's so much cooler um so you will be able to see the regex also that is generated by the by the route. It would be nice to have a Federico sorting capability in DevTools, ignoring the order and filter the list. Uh, so for the left, uh, I don't think so because the order is uh, ordered by. Um, matching orders so, so by priority so the order actually matters there it's not it's not about uh, being alphabetical or not <laughs> uh having an option to make them yeah why not maybe for another for a future version definitely worth considering 
Wait, wait. Uh, thanks for the talk. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the use case I have multiple unique filter. Oh, wait, uh, multiple unique filter. Okay, I think I can technical questions probably for <laughs> another moment, but uh, but it should work. And if you have multiple sections, yeah, it will probably work without problem. You can still try it on the path server, I guess, uh, the path um, URL I shared and see if it's not what you expect and open an issue and I will reply there. That is not so big that uses UX, your tangibility. When will be a good time to start migrating to you? Uh, I think we'll have answers about that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> migrating uh, probably take a bit more time. Because, um, no, for an application that is not so big that uses UX, you are really So if you depend on anything, you will still have to wait for the uh, library to uh, migrate. I think usually they did migrate. Uh, I still I still think uh, that depends on. I mean, the, the code is stable. We have been uh, using it for some time. We are very active also. So we're going to be very reactive, I think, for the couple of weeks uh, that are to come to, uh, um, I mean, the more people start using it, the more we're going to be active to fix the, any bugs that are appear. So I think if you have something critical for production, uh, migrating may still have to wait a little bit, but we have more infos tomorrow. For new applications, though, you can you can give it a try. I think it's it's gonna be cool. I think a lot of people are already doing that. What is your take on special characters in URL like uh, E with accent? We face difficulties with road matching because of encoding. Well, that's a very broad question. Uh, I check on every single browsers to try to provide a solution that worked everywhere for the new router. In the past router has a, a few issues. The idea uh, on the new router, I think I said that on the talk, is that uh, as long as you use params, query, and hash, you can provide them unencoded, and the router the router will encode them for you. Now, there is so the, the thing is, the reason that is that way is because that way, you always have the unencoded versions on the params, query, and hash, which are the things you usually use, and no matter where, where you are at. So you all, always use that. If you look at the current route location, you also have that, and if, uh, no matter the browser, some browsers like Internet Explorer, which is not a browser, but uh, some people still use it, uh, they will not encode some of the sections and give to the JavaScript the unencoded versions of the URL, which is technically incorrect um, by spec, but they were following a different spec, so whatever. Um, so you will still end up with the unencoded versions on params and stuff like that, even though the user should never end in a URL like that. The only reason for a user to end in a URL like that is writing them by hand. But any other any other browser, you will see that uh, they will encode the values, and they will sometimes not even show you that they encode the values. For example, Firefox does that uh, on the hash. Uh, and if you copy the URL, you will get an encoded value that doesn't look at all like what you have on the on the URL. And it's really nice because the user doesn't need to know. The end user doesn't need to know about encoding, but the developer does. So having the encoded values on the JavaScript is very important. Um, and about row matching, well, you still have to encode your path, to, to, so to say. So you have static versions, st static sections on the path that contains um, characters that need to be encoded. You need to encode them as well. Now, you can still code, call encode URI on the, on the string, and it should work. Uh, but you have to be careful about uh, any regular expression and stuff like that. Uh, I, I did list the, the the list of characters that are encoded by the router, so hope, hopefully it should be enough for anybody to uh, create a function that in, encodes the the URLs for them. But note note that the some users, depending on the browser, they are using uh, ugly URLs. So that's probably why people never never use characters and special characters for URLs, except for the query or the hash, but that's very different. Mm -hmm. uh, they say, today is difficult for external components to add routes, but with the new dynamic routing support, I guess it'd be possible for components to add a set of routes to an application. For example, if I add a blog component to my application, it can add blog specific routes. Yeah, that's correct. You still need to, um, so for example, if you add a new route, uh, and um, imagine you have a navigation guard uh, that adds the route. 
and the route added will be matched by you will still have to do another uh, new navigation you can still call next or return a new uh, redirection uh, that will work but it's in the user responsibility to navigate again when uh when new routes are added or removed so you can display the correct uh component on the for a given view so that's important if you want to do declarative routing it's not that easy um there are a lot of things to uh take into account because you have to actually so that's why it's not that cool as it looks uh when you because it, you lose a lot of other opportunities uh, regarding the syntax uh, that we have on the scoring system. In continuation to the DevTools improvements, of course, the order matters. It's just for the sake of temporary reserve, the list of available routes in case when there are hundreds of paths with an option hide. Yeah, I, I get it. I think that should, should go as a feature request once the, <laughs> the DevTools support is added. Uh, and um, I, I think I don't think there is a, a section to um, I mean, we, we cannot add this kind of interfaces right now, given the DevTools, like the API that the DevTools is exposing. You cannot add yet. I don't know if it's going to plan, but you cannot add like custom uh, options or checks, stuff like that. So there is not a way for, for me to do that yet, even though it's still not released. It's on a branch on GitHub, but it's not even released. You could also imagine that you do a search right in Redirect and it will match that word, stuff like that. There are others, other um, uh, user uh, interface patterns that we can use uh, with the search. Uh, experience with micro apps, micro frontends, and multiple frameworks. Perhaps you could recommend some frameworks like. No, I'm not a big fan of micro frontends. I'm part of the people who think that is, uh, in almost every scenario, it's uh, misaligning alignment on the team and it's bringing more problems than it solves uh, it's good for all the application to me that's the only one uh, so i do try to make the router work um, for the micro apps and i do have some contributions from people from uh, single spi which make me happy uh, to make it work on the on with them i think it was single spa that they they open up a request they open some issues and pull requests and they help they helped me or they basically solved the problem and i only had to guide them a little bit it was very high quality very happy about the, the contribution um and i don't have anything to recommend <laughs> i mean from a micro front end perspective uh, they don't have so i i work with sebastian uh he's a good friend also of mine but um i work with sebastian uh to uh make sure that uh he gets everything he needs from the router so i don't think uh, they don't have much of a problem with the it's more like we are taking some work away from them like the uh, ranking of the routes so that's great uh they have their own ideas for x3 i think and they will talk about that um tomorrow um so because the router is transparent on that side i don't think you will see much <laughs> you can still benefit from it but you won't see the you won't have to change much which is great oh, oh okay but next there is one thing i'm not sure the question <laughs> because next uses your router they don't have their own router. <laughs> Do you think sometimes people forget mm -hmm. or they don't know because you don't you don't see the router, but they are they use view router. The idea for the router is to be uh, also uh, a bit low level sometimes, so you can do different things that work differently for different people. And I personally on my project, you know, I personally on my projects, I use Nux very often, and uh, and I enjoy very much having that folder structure. And but you also have plugins to do it without Nux. No, we don't have the on the router. <laughs> we even have, I did work a little bit with people on that native script. Um, no, native script, no. Also, but I I don't know much about them. Um, I haven't heard much many news. But also people from uh, Ionic, they also released uh, a new version working with you. 
So I, I, I did talk with them uh, and I tried to help them the best I could. Uh, and they managed to use your router, but they still have to overrate, overwrite too many things, I think. Uh, so maybe in, the, in a month or something, it will be if I can help them or I can learn from that experience to a uh, abstraction of the, the router. Uh, so they, they can use even more. They, they don't have to rewrite uh, so many. They, they, they have to rewrite a, a bit too many things on the, on, on the router. So that's a shame. I wish I works for them um, better. Because they do have to, because they have a mobile solution, they do have to implement the router view because they use a stack navigation. So they have to keep the, the view have been through. And when you leave, you can unstack and still see them and they appear with the animations and stuff. So that's a bit more complicated. A view components. Uh, the URL display on the browser is based on the view components. Uh, is there a way we can tweak the set URL to only show a specific path? I'm not sure I understand. The URL is coming from the browser. You don't really have, it's more the other way around, I would say. Like the components are based on the URL. Um, um, is there a way we can tweak the set URL to only show a specific path or maybe just a query pattern? No, you cannot do that. That's uh, that would be a a security issue if you could change the URL uh, that way. Uh, I mean, or I'm not sure. Depends on the what you want to change, but the you URL to contain the information that conveys conveys a meaning for the router to identify what route to display. So you cannot really customize uh, like a mask on the route. Because then uh, you wouldn't be able. I mean, you can you can use an alias to have multiple routes, but uh, multiple versions of a route. But you still need to uh, to uh, you cannot change the URL on the browser without also letting the router know that maybe they have to display it has to display another URL. And there is no JavaScript API to uh, <laughs> to. Uh, hide the URL or change it. There won't be any JavaScript uh, API to change the actual domain thing. That will be a security issue. Uh, but yeah. Without re-rendering components. Well, that depends. Uh, the re-rendering components happens if you, uh, if the URL, URL changes and need to uh, render any component. If you're talking about models, there was a part of a models that you probably be able to see on the recording, but basically there's a route prop on the router view that allows you con to control what um, route we are displaying. And in history state, you can also display a model uh, or some kind of, or just change a little bit the view. Uh, so the URL will look like it's pointing to some somewhere else. And if the, and they paste that in, uh, they will end up in a different view because the router will not be aware of the history state that was on the other session, session being the, the tab on a browser. All right, so it looks like we have under five minutes left of the break. Um, I don't know if you want to take a break or continue. I don't know if anybody has ex any other questions. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Um, there we go. You have another question. Oh, I have a jump stack with Max2 and I'm using MaxLink, but if I click on the route and route push is made, the user in the browser is changed, but the content Yes, uh, that's a very specific problem that may be uh, connected to the your application specifically. But the if the URL changes and it's pointed to somewhere else, if you reload the page and you have something different, you probably have an error that needs to be fixed. 
it's not a unless it's a bug, but then it will need a boil down reproduction without max <laughs> director to check. Uh, Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, the, the answer is yes with the setup function. Uh, the on before route update and on before route leave can work anywhere. They still work. Uh, they are connected to the more the closest parent. So if it's a nested route, it will only react to that nested route and not the parent. Uh, but yeah, you can still watch the route for any changes and stuff like that. How did you like uh, pre-recording your talk, Eduardo? <laughs> uh, it's fine for me um, because I, I didn't take the, I, you can see that I didn't take the time to uh, uh, change anything on the talk. I was pretty much just talking as if I was talking. Uh, to me, it's the same experience. I don't have the feeling of people. So it's like to the to nobody. Um, I mean, uh, that's uh, the, the feeling you get. So I just did it once. I had one break in the talk that I had to edit out, and that's it. Wow, amazing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to, but it's not the same quality as other talks where things are very clear. It's trying to be perfect. I don't try to be perfect. I just give the talk the same way I would give it if it was live. And if I do mistakes, well, that's how it goes. And if it's wrong, then I will redo it again, of course. But basically, I, I rehearse the talk once, and then I record it, and, that's, and then I edit the video. And the camera was wrong, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I didn't record. I wasn't. I didn't. I was. I wasn't even on my on my home to record it again. So I was like, I cannot. I said it's okay. Well, I think that's great advice for all the speakers that need to record talks in the future. <laughs> yeah, Rahul. Thank no, Rahul had features in his talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we have like 30 seconds left, so I am going to hop off um, to make sure that I'm ready for introducing the next speaker. But thank you so much for your time and great talk. Thank you. See you, everybody. <laughs>